engineering physics lab experiment number 9 numerical aperture the aim of the experiment is to determine the angle of acceptance and the numerical aperture of an optical fiber apparatus required the source here i'll be using a laser as a source here it is semiconductor laser the optical fiber this is the optical fiber the screen this is the the screen and the scale this is the, the scale this is the another view the vertical view this is the screen this is the scale and this is the optical fiber for this circular fringe we have to note down the total diameter by using a scale coming to the experiment here uh, what you see here this is the optical fiber so the laser once the laser is switched on uh, the laser the source travel inside the optical fiber by the principle of total internal reflection and the other, other end it emerges up that you can see here let me connect it uh, back now you can see the circular uh, since the screen is started from 2 cm whatever the uh, value you can see here that minus 2 you have to measure say for example it is showing 6 cm actually it is 4 now measure the total diameter of this uh, circular fringe by using your uh, scale for the first distance value now keep it to 8 actually it is 6 the initial one was 4 now it is 8 means it is 6 because minus 2 since the screen has started from 2 cm now again measure the total diameter and likewise uh, take four readings again keep it to 10 actually that is 8 now keep it to 12 actually that is 10 okay measure four readings now the table column uh, this is the uh, cd number we have to take the four readings this is the l in centimeter like 4 6 8 10 diameter of the circular fringe whatever you'll get in your scale that measure and angle of acceptance of the acceptance angle we have the formula tan inverse t t is diameter and 2 into l l is this one okay since both are in uh, centimeter cancels out so we don't have to convert it to meter and numerical aperture it is a light gathering capability of an optical fiber it is the sign of angle of acceptance angle of acceptance you'll get from your and take the sign of that and you will get numerical aperture for all the uh, four readings finally take the average of the angle of acceptance as well as numerical aperture this is one of the tabular column which was done the experiment already calculation this is the formula to calculate the acceptance angle and this is the formula to calculate numerical aperture once you take average mention both angle of 